This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, June the 5th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in and staying with us. How about some SkyCam images to start things off? And let's kind of make the state tour. Here's the view from the uh, camera down at the battleship Alabama looking out towards Mobile and over the parking lot, which appears to be mostly empty at the moment, but interesting to see a little bit of stratus there, low clouds. A uh, very beautiful shot of the sun coming up over Clanton this morning, central Alabama, and uh, very few clouds, just a few on the horizon down there, but at least a little bit of a clear spot. A few more clouds as you get further north, and this is the shot from Birmingham. So uh, just a, a little bit of a cloudy morning to start for the northern third or so of the state. We're dealing with a kind of a stationary front across the northern tier of the United States, stretching from New England across the Great Lakes and into the northern plains and then into central Rockies. And that is the focus for much of the weather across the United States. But for us down here in the southeastern U.S., we're still dealing with a little weak low that is now over Louisiana and southeast Texas. And that low is weakening with time. And it looks like we might actually see some drier air around Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures across the country are relatively warm. Now, remember, this is about 6 a.m. or so. And uh, so these temperatures, 70s and 60s, all the way up to uh, Chicago and uh, places like Kansas City and uh, Des Moines and uh, over to uh, uh, oh, uh, central Nebraska. And, of course, warm across the southeast, and we know that with our morning lows in the 70s and humidities close to 100%. <laughs> Uh, just looking a little bit closer here, we can see uh, 75 at Tuscaloosa, 72 over at Anniston, 75 at Birmingham, 69 for one of the cooler spots at Fort Payne. Not much to talk about on radar, especially in Alabama, but we do have a little bit of uh, shower activity showing up as a result of that upper low over in Louisiana. The... Uh, Situation with that front has got a number of flash flood watches in effect, uh, flood and flash flood, and we've got a couple of uh, severe thunderstorm watches in effect across the, the uh, uh, area stretching from about Pennsylvania across uh, near Chicago uh, into uh, Nebraska. QPF-wise, that is the main focus with uh, the HPC folks looking at on the order of uh, three to uh, nearly five inches across that area over the next uh, five days. Across the southeastern U.S., uh, ours a little bit spottier. We won't see uh, uniform rain, but it looks like with showers, uh, especially across the, the southern half of Alabama, much of uh, the Florida, northern Florida area and into the Florida Peninsula on the order of about one inch over the next five days. Storm Prediction Center outlooking an area for moderate risk uh, that stretches from central Ohio across uh, the northern parts of Illinois and Indiana and into the southeast part of Iowa and extreme northeastern part of Missouri. And of course, that's surrounded by a very large slight risk area extending all the way from New England across much of the Ohio River Valley and into uh, the Central Plains. Day two, the uh, Storm Prediction Center slight risk area uh, now focused on the uh, New England coast down into the Delmarva Peninsula area, down into uh, the Mid-Atlantic states. And tropics remain quiet as uh, we're now into the uh, fifth day of our 2010 hurricane season. All right, this is a 06 EGFS model run, as you might expect today. Uh, not much change. We're going to see some scattered showers during the afternoon and evening hours. Uh, probably um, a lot like yesterday, not, uh, not a lot of coverage to the showers. Sunday, it looks like the uh, upper trough uh, that is uh, the, the uh, short wave that's moving through the Great Lakes and, and is now positioned over the eastern part of the Great Lakes area uh, is going to have enough of an influence to actually bring us just a, a front and a little bit of a drier air. Uh, that means we still have a pretty good chance for some showers on Sunday. Uh, but as that uh, trough goes uh, into New England, and begins to uh, exit into the Atlantic, we become a little bit more influenced by that trough and get into a northwesterly flow. And that looks like uh, the GFS is suggesting that the front, which we don't usually get them through here, that the front could come through and that could dry us out for Monday. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump on that. Uh, that would certainly be nice. Uh, the Moss guidance suggests that we might have dew points 
getting down into the upper 50s, and that should feel very nice uh, with a little bit drier air. The drier air stays with us on Tuesday, but the ridge begins to build back from the west, and that should keep us dry on Tuesday. Then as the ridge begins to build back in even stronger on Wednesday, that means that we see a little bit of uh, isolated shower activity as a possibility. On uh, Thursday, the ridge becomes much stronger over the central part of the country, and that begins to influence us. And once again, that means the possibility that we'll see some scattered showers. Uh, once again, these are not all-day rains. This is just a scattered shower pattern. The ridge is the news for the latter part of the week. As we head into Friday, it looks like we could get into the lower 90s, perhaps, and uh, with uh, afternoon showers helping to give us a little temperature relief. But unfortunately, if you get one of those afternoon showers, you also have your humidity go up. The, the uh, ridge inches a little bit further to the east on Saturday, a week from today, as a very strong um, trough develops over the Rockies. Uh, but once again, that keeps us in a scattered shower pattern. All right, let's go ahead into voodoo country. And uh, while the ridge weakens some initially, uh, it's uh, still back or still there on the 16th of June with the strong trough out to our west. And then uh, by the time we get to the 20th, uh, Sunday uh, the 20th, a uh, week from tomorrow, it looks like, uh, two weeks from tomorrow, I'm sorry, then uh, we see that we've got a little bit of a weakness in the pattern, and that's going to be very conducive for us seeing uh, um, a little more widespread shower activity. Well, thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted around 8 o'clock or so on Sunday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Saturday and try to stay out of those showers, but be sure to take that lightning serious if you're in the vicinity of any of those showers. I hope that you have a great Saturday and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to me They're all part of all the best things about Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.